Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. Today we have an unboxing of a huge box that was delivered to the Fashion Bunker. Well, Fragrant Bunker. And uh, where's the... Oh, it's on the other side. It's right here. And look how cool it is. It's from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And uh, um, when I first opened it... Um, <laughs> this shocked me because I forgot. I was like, well, how, how does Gaultier know? Like the whole Madonna thing. So basically, you know, Madonna's on tour uh, uh, with her uh, celebration tour. And, uh, but I was remembering the Blonde Ambition tour era and Gautier made her corsets and costumes. So anyway, so here in inside, there's a note that says Blonde Ambition will go, will go. And I was like, how does Gautier know that I do the will go, will go? Like how... How? How is that? Like, how is that? We'll go, we'll go. And then I remembered, oh, they asked me if I want to write a note to myself. <laughs> so sad. By the way, not sponsored. I, I bought this myself. Gautier did not sponsor me. Although I wish, but no, I bought this myself. So anyway, uh, let's see what's inside. So... Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Again, access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco all spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. So come join the live chats. And uh, anyway, so Blonde Ambition will go, will go. Jean-Paul Gaultier with the little fragile thing. We think about the planet recycled paper, but then also Fragile is one of his perfumes also discontinued. They should bring that one back. Special package from Jean-Paul Gaultier, made for you with love. That box is made of certified paper and fully recyclable. And this is Gaultier's signature. We'll go, we'll go. So there you go. Inside, oh my gosh, listen, Gaultier, like no other brand, delivers on the freebies. Can we talk... <clears throat> so, I ordered Jean-Paul Gaultier by the power of two. Yes, I reviewed this a while ago. Was not a big fan of the new... I loved this when it first came out, like, what, 15, 20 years ago? But uh, it's re-edition. Uh, smelled uh, off to me. And then for the longest time really you know people watch the review comment about it some people hunted it down some people didn't and now lately people started telling me Jacob did you sniff out the current formula of Gautier 2 they've apparently tweaked it I said no so anyway now I finally bit the bullet because it was holiday season and uh, there was a lot of like freebies to be had with purchasing these so it says uh Created in 2005 for everyone, it's unisex, families, woody amber, ingredients, musk, vanilla, amber. As per the back of the box. So they're really treating this like an archival piece, like almost like Marta Margiela would do. And Margiela also worked for Gautier, by the way. So anyway, it's all kind of connected, right? So it's very much like this archival product with all the numbers and stuff. Um, this is the side of it, the other side, the bottom, and the top. The top has a Gautier logo etched into the, embossed into the cardboard. Uh, batch code is 31571, right down there, 35171. And so they're offering this set where you buy the 100 mil and you get uh, the 15 mil with it for like another couple of bucks, like a travel version. So I ordered that. And then it said, if you add uh, another, I don't know, 20 something bucks, you're going to reach another level of freebie. So I ordered a second one as well of these little miniatures. Well, it's a travel-sized atomizer. It's not a miniature. It still is 15 milliliters. And then I unlocked another extra freebie, and that was this set of three miniatures. 
Uh, and the three miniatures you could choose you want either from the male selection or the female. I do prefer the female ones. So uh, they sent me over six mil classique eau de toilette, six mil scandal eau de parfum, six mil la belle eau de parfum. And this is the back. You can actually purchase this set for around 50 bucks, but they had that special offer that they would send you this for free if you spend a certain amount of money. So then the other two things they got, they let you choose which two samples you want. I wanted Gautier Divine or Divine and Gautier Le Mal Le Parfum. So I ordered these two as well. How big are they? Are they like 1.5 mil each? They're going that stingy route. This is the Divine bottle. Very much Madonna's corset from the Blonde Ambition Tour. I would love to have a miniature of this. What's it say here? A lily radiating with beauty, a divinely airy meringue over a fresh salted kiss, a divine scent. Sounds very tacky, but who knows? And this one I don't like, but anyway, I had to, you know, get something sample-wise. So, uh, Le Parfum uh, Gautier Le Mal, it's, I, I, my favorite Le Mal is the Eau de Toilette, the original. All of the others are kind of meh, my humble opinion. But anyway, here they describe it as Jean-Paul Gautier's new naval officer. Hi. Uh, a masculine elegance evoked by a woody oriental trail, an intense Eau de Parfum based on cardamom. And the freshness of lavender and iris combined with the addictive power of vanilla. We'll go, we'll go. And then look how beautiful the Gautier packaging is. So, well, they also sent me, I got to choose if I wanted a black one or a blue one. Black with orange interior or blue with a marinière interior beauty pouch. It's so beautiful. It's squishy. It's padded. Wait, let me show you. You open it up. Oh, desiccant. Inside, as you can see, the Marinière Classic Gautier. We open it up and it becomes this padded, soft, substantially sized vanity. And with a metal zipper. This is not some cheap plastic zipper. And so I chose the navy blue with the marinier interior instead of the black with the orange. The black with orange interior looks like Alpha Team, like an Alpha Team jacket, you know what I mean? But this one is more like that. Very good quality, very sturdy. And it comes with a metal plaque in the front. There's a sticker that I will peel off. It says Jean-Paul Gaultier Parfums. And yes, it is metal. Very sturdy piece. And then the last thing they gave us is this beautiful shopping tote in cotton. I think it's in recycled cotton. And it is a classic Jean-Paul Gaultier 90s tattoo design for clothing. And they have made, turned it into a shopping tote. This is the front panel. A very long straps. This is the back panel. And then the side panel. Upside down. Okie dokie. No worries. We can... Sorry, my microphone just went upwards. There you go. We got the Jean-Paul Gaultier insignia on one side of the panel and we have the same on the other side the bottom is it's the end of the print oh it's interesting how they did this so it's one continuous piece of fabric so there's no cut at the bottom so they sewn it together so that's how they printed it i, I see what they did here so they printed one long piece of fabric, then they folded it, and then there's an empty slot that's not printed at the bottom right there. So that's how they manufactured this. 
nicely sewn, double sew. Okay, quality is good. They didn't just like cut off the strap here and sewn it and then making it flimsy. They actually folded it inwards and then sewn it together. So for a freebie, uh, this is very, very sturdily and beautifully sewn together. See what I mean? It's not cut down there, but it's bent and then sewn inwards. So it's a, it's a good quality. I wonder if there's a tab in there telling us, yeah, there is, where it's made. It's made in India with 100% cotton. And what is interesting about this is that uh, they don't sell you this as like a, you know, freebie. Meaning like, for example, here, it says Jean-Paul Gaultier, and then underneath it says parfums, right? So it's like perfumes. It's like, oh, okay, you get this with a perfume purchase. Not this. This one doesn't say Jean-Paul Gaultier perfumes. It literally just says Jean-Paul Gaultier wherever you look. It's his classic logo. And uh, even on the side, it just delivers Jean-Paul Gaultier, not perfumes. And then even the tag inside, same. It doesn't say Jean-Paul Gaultier perfumes, but rather just Jean-Paul Gaultier. So it's a very, very specific, distinctive touch. You know what I mean? To how they went about giving you this tote. And they do come in different colors. Uh, now for the holiday season, they had it in, in, well, usually beige base and then the print color changes. So now they had it in red. Sometimes it comes in blue and other colors as well. And then the inside is so gorgeous. It looks like a bed of petal of ro of of, uh, of ro petals of roses, but it's paper, also um, biodegradable and recyclable. And so this, look how the package comes packed with these with these gorgeous red petals. And the entire set is just laying on these beautiful little bent little kind of floral paper piece. I mean, it's really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Uh, Rachel says, I'm so weird. I love the box so much. It's my favorite part. The box is incredible. It's designed impeccably. Chanel, take note. This is how you do it. And this is also how you deliver the freebies. And I spent a little over... I spent a little over a hundred bucks and uh, got all of these freebies. Uh, that's really, really amazing. Now, here is, I already started using it. Here is the 15 mil version of Gautier by the power of two. It comes in this little glass vial. It's not a refill to put in a bigger container or nothing. It's like this. plastic stopper with a little extra padding inside so that it kind of nicely really stays in place. It doesn't easily fall off. And it's lighter than it used to be. But then again, it's a really, really fresh new batch. The little one is 31651. And the other one is also 31651. They're the same batch number because um, I bought two of these. And uh, it is beautiful, actually. It is slightly different from the first one I unboxed, a little bit lighter. I don't know if this has to do with the fact that it needs a little bit of oxygen. It needs to kind of settle in, ferment a little bit to become deeper and wider. <laughs> Because the vintage bottle of Gautier by the Power of Two, and we're talking vintage back in the day when they had like magnets on them and you could have combined several bottles together. It was a very interesting concept. They don't do that anymore with the current bottles, but um, that one is really intense. But then again, it's many years old now. The liquid has turned almost to a brown black color. Still smells divine. This one is super light, as you can see. We're talking, yeah, it, it, it's darker than many other perfumes, but it is, it's a golden 
liquid that will turn darker with time. It almost has like a pinky hue, a pinky tint to it. And uh, Chizza says it needs to settle from its journey to you. Yeah. And it doesn't really last long on my skin. I gotta say like two to three hours tops, but let it settle. I might make an updated review of it. So I opened up this one immediately. It didn't even come in a plastic foilage. And uh, since I'm traveling a lot lately, immediately I opened this because I'm using it right away. Super practical. That's why this one stays sealed for now. You can hear it inside glug, 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 the liquid, but I'm going to keep it sealed just for now. Let it simmer there because this is the one that I'm using. And you can see me unbox the other 100 ml bottle also on my Essentially Jacob perfume channel. Uh, you can see how the bottle looks like and all the details of the first unboxing. Uh, it's the same bottle. And it's not my favorite design. I wish he would have kept the same bottle design like in 2005 with the magnets, but no, they opted for a brand new bottle design. It's okay, but I kind of prefer the rounded one to this one. But anyway, go check out my other video if you want more details on this bottle. For now, this is what we got. It's refreshingly new, even though it's very clearly good tape by the power of two from back in the day. Francis Kurjan is the nose behind this one as well, I believe. Just like he uh, he is the nose behind Le Mal. I just want to say, I wish it were more intense. I wish it lasted longer on me. But let's give it a couple of months time. Let it deepen. Let it ripen. And then if you guys want, let me know. I might do an updated review of this newly formulated uh, allegedly at this point, we don't have any proof of any of this. It's just what our noses are telling us. And everything I say in this video anyway is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. And it is my opinion that uh, this one is lighter than it, what it used to be. I wish it had a little bit more longevity. I wish that I could smell it on me three, year, or three years, <laughs> three years, three hours into having sprayed it on. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want me to do an update video, let's see if this video does well, because like Gautier perfumes depends, you know. They're not like the most famous perfumes in the perfume community to review or to watch reviews of, which is a, it's a pity, really. They're quite conceptual. I mean, Classique and Le Mal by Gautier are still to this day one of my favorite, you know, perfumes of all time. I think they're masterful. And we got masterful people who have created them in the 90s. You know, Jacques Cavalier, who is now working for Louis Vuitton. Well, he did Classique. Francis Crujan is now the artistic director of Perfumes Dior. He did Le Mal. We have big names who have worked for the launch of these masterpieces by Gautier. So I think more credit should be given to these fragrances in general. And if you're watching Gautier or Puige or whoever for Gautier, bring back Classique, bring back La Fleur du Mal. Not, it's not asking for much. All right, we'll go, we'll go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, thumb it up. Let me know your thoughts about Gautier by the Power of Two. If you have it, would you repurchase it? Do you like the new version? Well, we'll go, we'll go. Is this already a reformulated version from last year's relaunch or is it not? Let us know. Love you loads. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Bye. Mwah.